Hi, I'm Angela Arnold, and I want to show you today a, a very elegant piece of software that I happen to love using. It's called Animoto. They create slideshows, and uh, we're looking at the home page right now of Animoto. It's called Welcome to the End of Slideshows, and you can get started. Again, it's a free site. Uh, you can upgrade to a paid version of Animoto, but you put your photographs together, um, and they create a slideshow for you, which is uh, television quality in a lot of uh, a lot of instances. They're not the type of slideshows that I would make online before I found out about um, Animoto. So basically, what you want to do is sign in, create an account for yourself, your username and password, and your email address is going to function as your username and you can get started. It doesn't cost you any money to get started and uh, if you do upgrade I think they have a, um, a yearly pass that can, that's as low as $30 and you can find some discount coupons around sometimes and, and use that and uh, it is an affiliate program so if uh, you know if you want to get an affiliate link to it you know just contact me and I'll, I'll give you the link that you can use to get a little bit of a discount in starting. But um, here we go, we're looking at the home page and they create videos for us. Now I'm going to go into my account uh, and I'll show you some of the videos that I have created. I've done a ton of them and you can also uh, look on my website and see some of the slideshows that I've created and uh, I've done a lot of them for study abroad and I've done some for um, college admissions 411. Not quite as many for my work at home's uh, winner's website. But these are as you can see, I created 261 videos. I'm just going to town on this thing. And a lot of it was a learning experience, but a lot of it, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to do these uh, videos. So now this is a college admissions video, and I'm going to take you to the college admissions video and let you listen to some of it. And you see, you can put your own music onto it. You can, um, well, anyway, let's go to it. Let's play a little bit of it so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to increase the volume here so you can hear it quite well. All right, that's the video I created. It's a college admissions video. Okay, you get an idea of it. Um, that's a slow theme, and then you can do it as quickly, as fast as you want to. I'll show you another theme that, that has a little bit faster music on it. Um, it's a little bit of hip-hop, if you like that type of thing. Let's go down and find that. Um, this one. I think this one has a little bit faster music on it. Let's listen to that. Okay, we're going to play. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there, but you get an idea of what's available to you. So you can choose from of various tempos. They have a lot of music here that you can select from. Um, so here's how the uh, how here's how it works to uh, create your videos. I'm going to use one that I've already made. Um, let's go down here a little bit and find something interesting. Uh, okay. All right. Let's go to this one. This looks good. Okay, I don't actually want to play this one. I'm going to pretend that I want to edit it. And if the if I click on this edit screen, the toolbox, a lot of things come up. I can do a one-click remix. I can edit it, meaning I can swap the music out. I can change some of the photographs. I can highlight certain photographs. Um, I can start a completely new video. I can delete this video. I can share it, meaning I can email it to my friends. I can uh, embed it in, on uh, my blog or website. I can export it to YouTube and I can share it as a video greeting card. 
So I can do all of those things. Let's pretend that I want to do a, uh, an edit on it. Okay, so the edit screen comes up. And this is the way you would basically create a, a video also. I have uploaded all of my photographs to this video. You can see I have 32 photographs here and they're estimating that this will take a minute and 13 seconds to play. And this is the soundtrack that I'm using. Um, so if I want to uh, upload some more photographs, I just click this button that says add more. And then I can upload photographs to my own computer. I can retrieve it from another site or I can select some of the photographs from the Animoto's website. But I'm not going to upload any photographs right now. I'll just close this up. Okay, so the boxes that I have here yellow around there, that means that those are photographs that I'm going to highlight and they're going to stay in the video a little bit longer than the others. I can click this button, the T's here mean text. This is when I want to add text to the video. Let's double click that and see what it says. It says study abroad in France, La Belle France. And when you see the video, you'll see that printed there. But you can have, uh, I think, up to 30 characters on the top. And I'm not sure on the bottom, but you can keep typing until you can't type anymore. Uh, and that's how that works. I can rotate the photographs if they're in a different alignment. So let's take a look at this Eiffel Tower. Let's say, for example, I wanted to rotate that. Well, there it is. It's a 90-degree rotation. 